Uh, this is Naim Khan and I am giving you the first tutorial how to install in pre-installed system like Acer I have this X3995 Expire S how to, how to downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7 so let me start as you can see we are in Windows 8 first you have to go to the settings here you can see these are the settings go to the settings and there is a chain change PC settings go there here is uh, PC settings options and you have to go to the general and in the bottom of these options you can see advanced start up and you have to click on start now restart now Now we are in the general advanced settings. Now you have to go to troubleshoot advanced option. This is UEFI firmware settings. Here you have to go to check the BIOS settings. Click on it and it will ask you restart to change. E U E F I firmware settings. We start. Now here we are in our bio settings. You just have to go to authentication. There is two options of secure mode and secure boot. You just have to disable the secure boot. And as you see the secure mode boot is gone. Now you have to check your boot options first you have to put the CD drive on the first then if you have any removal, removable device like USB and all you have to go that ok for me it's CD and DVD drive here uh, you can see the boot priority order will be like CD and DVD what you have if you have C CD then you have to put your CD ROM on the first priority boot and if you have the if you are booting up from USB device then you have to put your first boot priority device is uh, the removable device okay now what we do next is launch CSM it's you have to enable this option it will be show you the legacy mode it will be go the all available bootable CDs and USB device will be boot on it so you just save and exit after that. Yes. Here I have Windows 7 Ultimate 86 and 64-bit uh, windows which I 
download it from torrent and burn it on DVD so I will put in the system Start the game. As you can see the windows is uh, loading the windows 7 loading files is there now you can see this windows 7 boot is enabled I have just clicked next and install now you can choose the option whether you have to install 86 version or 64 bit version but I like the 86 version and next accept next uh, I don't need the upgrade version I need to install a new version of Windows 7 here you can see some of the system having a problem if if it's a pre-installed version then uh, the Windows 8 is based on GPT style the partition style as if you are aware of it in GPT so you cannot install directly the Windows 7 on pre-install machine of Windows 8 so you can see it's showing me the error as you can see the windows cannot be installed on the disk the select disk is of the GBT partition style and Windows 7 is based on MBR style so we have to convert first the GPT to MBR so for that I need to restart the system and I have to put the magic partition on that okay and there is another op option if you wanted to <coughs> uh, if you don't need a magic partition you just have to delete the all drives which definitely you have to take a backup of it so I'm deleting all my partitions through the drive option of Windows 7 as you see I deleted all the partitions now I'm making the new partition Okay, I have to put like this. Okay, and this give the system reserved also. So now I have two partitions. Let me format it. As you see both partition I make it and I'm formatting it now you can go directly to the installation process click on next and here the windows is installing